What's going on Fallen Family? This is the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box and this is the standard Elite Trainer Box for the brand new Lost Origin set and we're seeing which one's the better investment. Really quick before we get started, the winner for last video's giveaway is going to be posted down in the description below. If you want me to keep doing some more, go ahead and like the video, subscribe for more awesome content. Now let's get started. Here is just the front, it comes like in a little box sleeve there. And of course we have the player's guide. We'll go ahead and go through that because we haven't really taken a good look at this set yet. Uh, so we'll go ahead and kind of choose what our favorite um, card is going to be. I'll kind of skip over like the commons and all the stuff like that. And I'll show you guys. You'll be able to see all that when we open up packs. But we'll kind of go ahead and jump into like the full art here. Full arts and alternate arts. I think right off the back. The Rotom is not bad, but I think right off the back, I'm going to go ahead and go, if you guys can see that, that uh, Aerodactyl V alternate art, and it looks like that Giratina one is pretty good as well, and uh, it has some, a couple rainbows, some secret rares, of course, and uh, it does, ooh, that golden Giratina looks nice, uh, it does have a trainer gallery in here as well, um, with the golden Pikachu and the golden Mew. So that's that's a good thing. I, I like that they keep adding that. I have no problem with the uh, the trainer gallery. In fact, I, I think it makes it a little bit more fun um, for people. Opening up Pokemon cards, you just have more to look forward to. So, of course, we're going to have, I believe it's 10 packs for Lost Origins in here. You're going to have, I'm not going to open this, but it's pretty much your energies. You have some Giratina dividers, some sleeves, some ooh, some golden sleeves, golden on the inside. Nice artwork on the back that uh, I'll use to sleeve up anything that we get here. We'll probably sleeve up anything that's ultra rare or better. You know, you have some dice. Now it looks like you get a pin in here as well. That's a nice little addition. Uh, I don't think the other one has a pin. Which makes it pretty cool. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll jump into opening up some packs here. So we'll go ahead and open this up. So my chase card out of here is definitely going to be that, that Aerodactyl alternate art. Um, you guys go ahead and let me know what your chase card throughout the set is going to be. Obviously they change. Um, you know, as the set ages, people kind of want different things. But uh, mine is going to be that, that Aerodactyl V. Um, as far as the trainer gallery if we manage a reverse hollow kingdra and a nice looking area dose it's a non hollow but that is some nice artwork there some really good artwork uh but if we manage to pull that golden mew i don't know about the Pikachu. i mean i guess pulling the golden pikachu would be kind of nice but the golden mew is kind of what i i would i prefer the golden mew over it um but yeah so we're pretty much here to see which one's the better investment. Um, the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box is $50, again, exclusively only for Pokemon Center. And we're going to guess, I was going to say electric, but it was metal. Ambipom, I forgot, got to go a little bit slower so we can look at some of these artworks. Um, it's $50, and we just showed you everything it comes with. It comes with 10 packs. And the other Elite Trainer Box, which I'll show you guys after. Oh, I see some texture. Look at that! That is beautiful! A Kiram V! It looks like a full art. It may even be an alternate art. We have to go ahead and look back in this book. Let me sleeve this up. That is beautiful coloring right there. That is ridiculous! First pack, and we go ahead and pull this? I think I'm a... Oh, second pack. That might have been our second pack, actually, right? Yeah, our second pack. We didn't get nothing on the first pack, but that is crazy. Second pack. Here we go. And we're going to go ahead and guess electric. And we get grass. All right on. So our second pack, and we pull a full art Kiram. That is ridiculously good. Maybe, maybe, maybe our luck is turning because that last video was just atrocious. A Paris. And, oh, a Kiram V. So we get the Kiram back to back, the full art and then the regular. 
We'll put them a little side by side right there just so you guys can see that. That's pretty cool. That's funny. What are the odds that we pull that back to back? That's kind of ridiculous. We'll go ahead. Open this up. Wow, that, that kind of just threw me off. I wasn't really expecting to pull a full art uh, there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and guess electric. Metal again. A panic mask. A lampant. A ride on. Zorua, Paris, Inke, a Hisuian Basculin, Jinx, a Reverse Hollow Lampant, and look at that, a, a non-hollow Buffalant. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and move on to our next one. So I think I was going over for like looking at the... If I can open this. Okay, I was trying to... I was going over like the scheduling and I think I'm going to do every Tuesday and Saturdays. Tuesdays and Saturdays is going to be my uploading schedule. So um, while the set comes out by when I'm filming this, it's Friday. The set just came out. It's the official release day for Lost Origin. But uh, you guys will see this tomorrow. We'll go ahead and guess Electric, Psychic, uh, Damage Pump. Uh, so you guys will see this tomorrow and come Tuesday. The plan for that video is going to be a uh, booster box for Lost Origin. I have a, a ton of, of, you know, product coming in, a reverse hollow Sableye, <laughs> and then the, the hollow Sableye, look at that, what are the, we're getting back-to-back -back odds here, it's kind of weird, oh yeah, yeah, so it'll be the booster box for uh, Lost Origin, I have a ton more product coming in, um, so I'll be able to share everything with you guys, you guys will be able to, you know, join me along for this uh, journey, our first V-Star marker card, so I'm not even going to guess, and a Rezu, Relicanth, Lost Vacuum, a Slugma, Clefairy, Roselia, Porygon, Ink We get our first trainer gallery hit, and it's gonna be the Spirit Tomb. What are we following by the Dust Ox? That is nice. That is beautiful. She's all sad. Staring out the window. Alright, we'll go ahead, just get moving along. We still got another Elite Trainer box, and I don't want this video to be too long for you guys. Um, but yeah, so that's what the scheduling is going to be. That's what the next video is going to be. Um, if you guys prefer different days, go ahead and let me know. I, I, I don't mind working around and making a different schedule, but uh, that's just what it's going to be for now. And I don't guess electric, and we get electric. Colorist uh, Experiment, Kamala, Toolbox, and Inke, Squivet, Phalanx. A Poliwag, an Oddish, a Reverse Hollow Wurmple, and the Electros. So nothing out of that pack. We'll go ahead and I'll try to move a little bit faster here as far as the packs go. And there's a code card. Again, if anybody uses those code cards, go ahead, go feel free to take them because uh, I don't. Uh, Fighting Energy, Swana. I don't really do the online TCG. Phalanx, Poliwag. Gliger, Gloomy, a Mawile, Reverse Hollow Gastrodon, and we got the Galarian Berserker V. That's what I'm talking about. So another Ultra Rare we'll add to our ranks there. So far, this this Elite Trainer box is looking like it's it's worth it value wise. Uh, definitely has the pulls, ten packs. We've got four hits, so not not a terrible pull rate out of it. Code card and fire energy, a Viper, stun fist. You guys, go ahead and let me know what you think of this set so far. If you have already opened multiple things for this set, go ahead and let me know which one's your favorite product. Uh, like I said, I have a bunch coming in and a Porygon Z, so we'll be able to see uh, go through uh, a couple of each and see which one is going to be really worth it. Um, which one's pull rates are going to be better. Um, and we'll go ahead and have fun. So this is going to be the last pack. It's going to be the last pack for the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. We're going to go ahead and get this going last pack. So we'll call it like Sub Last Pack Magic. It's not the last one for the video, but last one for the box. Colorless Experiment. Lost City. A good looking Pikachu there. A Jinx. A Litwick. An Oddish. A Love Disc. A Reverse Hollow Dugong. And a Hollow Glastrier.
So this is the standard Elite Trainer box. Again, you can find this in any retailer, uh, any GameStop, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, any place that typically sells Pokemon that usually gets the new set will, will more than likely have this. Hopefully the opening of the classic is not too loud. Again, it has the player's guidebook there. And we'll kind of see what the real big difference is out of those two boxes. I believe it, it's just the pin from what I was reading and the two packs, the two extra packs in. Yeah, so uh, if you guys can see, it has the dividers, the dice, the marker, and again, the sleeves, the cool sleeves. They're cool sleeves. Um, and uh, as you can see, I've been using them. They look really nice. But we'll go ahead and get into it right now. And let's get this going here. A uh, code card for you guys. And we'll go ahead and get Electric, Dark, Silcoon, Amian Chow, Iskan, NK, Pasculin, Jinx, Makuhita, Bronzor, Ahantor, and a non hollow Mr. Mime. So uh, there was a giveaway in the last video. I'll announce the winner um, for that giveaway in this video, and I'll go ahead and DM the winner, and you know we'll work out the address and stuff, and I'll ship it out to you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and guess electric still. Oh, let's go! Finally got it right. Now we can switch off a Cedra, Viper. That's a nice looking Viper. There's some really nice non holo cards here. The artwork on it is just beautiful. A Litleo. A Ghastly Zerua, Reverse Holo Litwick, and a non holo Dugong. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and announce the winner, and hopefully for that uh, Pikachu and Zekrom box, which is what you'll be getting, uh, hopefully your luck is better than mine, because that last video was just terrible. We're already doing better, so considering we got, like, in the first two minutes, we got that that, that full art Kieran VV star marker card, Torkoal, Arezu, Porygon 2, a Ducklet, a Blitbug, a Finneon, Zerua, Paris, a Reverse Hollow Snover, and again, the nice looking Ariados. I'm telling you, the artwork, um, whoever did these artwork, who did this artwork? Usually you'll be able to see like towards the bottom here, right there, you see Shin Shinji Kanada. So, again, that's, that was really nice artwork there. But as of right now, we haven't pulled anything from the standard Elite Trainer Box, which just means that uh, that Pokemon Center is probably the best best bang for your buck here. Cascoon, Ambipalm, Damage Pump, a Shuppet, Tynamo, a Seedot, a Horsey, a Metatite, Reverse Hollow Machamp, and a Comfy. Wow, we are not getting nothing from this box. We're halfway through it, entering the second half of this elite trainer box and we don't even have anything to show for it honestly nothing to show for it the code card i'm gonna go water to fire gloom luminian mirage gate Oop, i almost skipped over the horsey maul while shellos binacle porygon reverse hollow stunfisk and a hollow volo. So our first hit is just a hollow. Not not really the best thing. Not what we're looking for to sort of put up an argument of why you should buy this this elite trainer box. Then again, my luck with these boxes have been pretty much any box. It's been terrible, honestly. So psychic, licky licky. We'll kind of just burn through these because it doesn't look like we're getting anything from this box. A Makuhita. A Electrike, a Murkrow, Wormpool, Sableye, and the Reverse Hollow or the Non Hollow Mac Cargo. Final two packs. Final two packs. I'm just go right through this. But you guys, let me know what what you guys think. Hopefully, you guys are getting better luck than I am. I uh, apparently just I just have bad luck all around here. A Metal Energy, Box of Disaster, a Sligoo. Electric, a Love Disc, a Gliger, a Wormpool, a Rhyhorn, like not even a Trainer Gallery. What is going on right now? Usually with the addition of the Trainer Gallery and, you know, they, they even have the Radiance. I think there's some Radiance in here. 
Um, you're usually able to pull something. We have nothing, nothing to show for this box right now. And water. A Hariyama, a Hauntor, a Poliwhirl, Finneon, Spinarak. Now it is the last pack, so you know already. Last pack magic and a Trainer Galley. Ooh, a Hisuian Arcanine. I didn't even realize this was in here. For those of you who don't know, Arcanine, by far our favorite Pokemon all time. Out of however many there are now. There's like 900 or so, something like that now. But look at that. Oh, we are definitely sleeping that up. And another Curium V. All right, so recap-wise, out of our standard Elite Trainer box, the only thing we really pulled was a Kiram V, and I'm a little bit biased is the Hisuian Arcanine uh, Trainer Gallery, because Arcanine's my favorite, so I'm a little bit biased, but, you know, I'm not delusional to know that the full art Kiram V, a uh, Spirit Tomb Trainer Gallery, and then, you know, we have the Berserker V and Kiram V as well, uh, that... Today, the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box definitely took the W. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you did make it all the way to the end, it means the world to me. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for joining me on this journey, our journey really. And hopefully we'll be able to continue this long down the road. So I'll see you guys in the next one.